Hello again, this is Kyle. Let's write some code. Today we're going to be building a peer-to-peer -peer video chat application written in pure JavaScript uh, and it's going to run in a web browser. It's going to use WebRTC and it's going to be a ton of fun. I'll put a link in the description to an earlier video I did that shows you how to get the same dev setup I have going here uh, running for you. So what is WebRTC? Uh, it stands for Real-Time Communications and it's basically just a, 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 a set of APIs in the browser uh, that lets you do things such as uh, stream uh, video uh, or audio back and forth to each other or even send data. So if you're going to build a, uh, a game that you want to have peer-to-peer uh, -peer data sent back and forth, uh, you can use WebRTC for that too. Now WebRTC is currently only available in Chrome, uh, Firefox, and Opera and hopefully someday soon we'll be coming to Internet Explorer. Um, and to kind of help us navigate around those uh, um, browser weirdnesses that go on, uh, we're going to be using Simple Peer here, uh, which is an abstraction on uh, WebRTC for um, uh, simple peer-to-peer -peer, uh, communications. So to use this, we're going to do uh, npm install Simple Peer, Simple Dash Peer, and uh, save that to our package JSON. Uh, and once that has installed, uh, we can use the, uh, the API here by requiring it. And this will give us a class that we can create new instances of. And so if we want to create a new instance of it, we just simply say uh, new peer. And we have our individual peer here to use. So we want to have our peers be able to discover each other. And typically what you'd use is a server that uh, can let each other know and signal each other uh, of their capabilities. Uh, but instead what we're going to do is we're just going to have a text box uh, in our page that uh, we can copy and paste uh, in uh, to each other's page to let each other know about our network capabilities, our, our, our peers' capabilities uh, to communicate with each other. So to do that, I'm going to build a index.html file here. Um, and in the, the body here, I'm going to add some uh, HTML. Um, and so what this will be is we're going to have a text area here that is our ID. And so it's our SDP or our session description protocol. And it's basically just an ID that says this is what our, uh, our peer is capable of doing. And then we can give that to the other peer. And so then when the other peer gets a response, they'll give us their SDP in which we can paste into this uh, other ID and then we can connect. And so it will set up the, the connection between the two peers uh, using uh, these, uh, these text area, the, the text we put in these text areas. And so then we just need to make sure we have our bundle uh, included on the page, of course, because it's not going to run without it. And I'm going to name this a bundle, which is going to send a request to, uh, to Budo for that file here. And so Budo is actually compiling our index file here. Um, but what we can do is we can say uh, when we bundle our file, it's going to be named bundle here. So we just put a, a colon between it. But our entry file, the actual file name, our source file, is named index.js. Uh, so that will make this part work, uh, no matter if we bundle it separately or we bundle it uh, live with Budo. But just to be clear here, Budo is not required for any of this to work. It is only being used as a development server just to bundle our JavaScript for us. It is not handling any of the WebRTC or peer-to-peer -peer or connection whatsoever. So I'm going to go back here to my terminal and I'm going to type npm start to start up Budo and get that server running here. And so now we need to uh, we need to find out our ID. And so we can go back here. And so now we have this peer. Uh, we can listen for an event. So we'll say peer on signal, and we'll get this uh, this data object that represents um, it's our SDP or it represents what our peer is capable of. And then we can just say document get element by ID, and we named that on uh, your ID, I believe. Yes, we did. And we can just set the value, and we're going to just stringify this object using JSON stringify. Um, let's get some more room here because these are long lines. It will give us our ID. Um, but what we need to know is we need to know which peer is initiating, uh, which, which one's the first one that's initiating this, uh, this session here. And um, to do that, what we're going to do is there's a, a command uh, or a configuration option called initiator here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say location hash 
uh, and we're going to check uh, is it a nit. And so what this what this means is uh, you basically set this to true or false whether this is the first peer or not. And so here in our server we can specify who is the first peer by uh, by simply doing a, a hash uh, a nit at the end here, and the uh, this will be set to true because the location has equals a nit, and then all the other peers can just be uh, um, just leave this uh, hash off, and this will be false, and they will not be the initiator. Um, and then another option we want to set is trickle. Uh, we're going to say trickle false. Um, so basically, we just want to disable it, and I won't go into it because one, I don't really know exactly how trickle uh, ice works. But uh, basically, it just figures out how to traverse your networks, and I've had better luck with uh, trickle being false. Right. So now when we load the page, uh, we should get our um, SDP or ID. It takes a little while to, to do it. It's just uh, figuring out how to get through your network, and it will take a little bit of time. So now you'll see that we have our SDP here, and we can paste this into the other uh, the other peers uh, box. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to uh, configure um, when we put it in to when they hit the connect button uh, what we should do. So to do that, let's uh, get element by ID, and we have our button named connect here. And we're going to add event listener to it. Click in which we'll pass this function here. Um, and this will be the other ID. And we'll want to JSON parse it because it'll be a JSON string. Uh, document get element by ID. And then I think we named this one other ID, the value. So we're just going to parse the JSON that was pasted into that other ID here. And then uh, we're going to signal um, the peer with our other ID. So that lets, lets our peer know about this other peer um, available. So now that we made a way for our peers to discover each other and negotiate a connection, uh, let's have them start sending messages to each other. So to do that, we need to add a form uh, for sending messages. And we're just going to have a text area box that we enter your message and a button that says send. And then just a, a pre-tag that displays all the messages uh, that the peer has sent. Uh, so then back to our code here. Uh, we want to add an event listener to get element by ID to the button send. So when the user uh, has clicked, we can perform the action. So we want to get the message. I believe we said your message value. So we got the, the value of the message. And so now what we want to do is we say peer uh, send. And we send the message that, they, that we have entered in and hit send. Then lastly, we want to uh, display any data that the peer has sent. Uh, so we say peer on data. Uh, we'll get this uh, data from the peer. Uh, get elements by ID. These are our messages text content, and we're just going to append any messages uh, that were sent to us into this uh, thing and then just put a new line after it. Okay, fantastic. Let's test this out. Uh, so we're just going to open up two tabs here. Uh, the first one is going to be the initiator, and so it's going to have this init on it. And then the second one is not going to have the init because it's going to be the second peer. And so we have our ID in which we'll just copy and paste over here into uh, the other peer to let the other peer know about us. And then we'll wait for it to uh, figure out its own uh, ID. Okay, now we have its uh, ID that we can copy and paste and let us know about uh, the other peer. And so we can hit connect and we're connected. So let's test it. Say, are you a bear? Send. Let's check. Got the message. Are you a bear? Yes, I am. Send. We got their message. We are communicating peer to peer network. The text is boring though. We want a video chat because, I mean, that's what it said in the, uh, in, in the description. So, uh, what we're going to do here is on the navigator object, uh, we're going to call get user media. Um, I'm going to use the prefix here because we're just using Chrome right now, uh, but you should use uh, a, a 
polyfill that um, uses the proper prefix or MOZ for Mozilla and O for Opera um, and eventually it will just be get user media um, but for now just for simplicity we're just going to be using get user media so the first uh, argument it takes is this configuration um, that what what you want to request from the user and so we want to request to use their uh, the video camera so I'm gonna say video true and then you can say audio for uh, um, for their microphone, I'm going to set it to false because I don't want to create weird feedback with uh, recording and trying to do that at the same time. So we'll just do that. Uh, so then the first uh, callback that it will call is if it's successful, if the user has approved, the, it, it will give you this stream here uh, of that, uh, that user media. Um, if they have not uh, um, approved it, uh, they'll call the second callback here which is an error, um, such as if, you know, if just if they don't have any capabilities or some kind of weird thing happened, or they just simply just didn't approve it, it will call this error. And so I'm just gonna wrap this entire block here because we only care to even bother begin the peer-to-peer -peer connection um, you know, as soon as the user has approved the camera. So now that we have this stream, uh, we're gonna pass, this, this will be our stream, this will be us, not the remote person. So we'll pass uh, the peer the stream here um, so it can stream it out. But then when we get a, a, a peer stream from some other peer, uh, we get this event called stream, peer on stream. And this will be the other user stream. And so when we get the other user stream, we want to add a video tag to, um, to our page of this, uh, this other user. So you say document create element. We're going to create a video tag here, and then uh, let's append it to the page, the body there. And so typically the video tag takes a source option, which is a string to a video, you know, file. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to say window URL create object URL, and which this is going to create a uh, a string that we can pass to our video source that represents this stream. So it's just an endless video uh, that, that is streamed through. And then the last thing we wanna do is just play because um, it doesn't play by default. And this will begin uh, playing the video. So now we're ready to test it. Uh, so we'll go here to the page and we'll refresh our init. It'll ask us if we wanna use the camera um, and we'll hit allow. And so now I am streaming my video out, but I don't have any peers, so I'm gonna wait for my ID. Okay, I got my ID, so I'm gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna refresh this, and it's also gonna to ask to use the other peers camera, in which case I'll paste in my ID. Now I have an, uh, the, the peers uh, ID, so I can paste that into mine, and we should hopefully get, ooh, it's a good thing I'm wearing clothes today. Um, yeah, so now we are, I mean, it's just one video, I mean, it's just same people. Just imagine I'm somebody different uh, across the globe, um, and these are two different people that are communicating peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, no server. So, um, so I hope this has helped you learn to write your own peer-to-peer uh, -peer video chat application, and if it has, then please share it and help others, because then you'll have more peers to talk to you. Um, and uh, if you want to see more videos, uh, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.